The global warming began 200 years ago, and we see that the glaciers from the Little Ice Age began to shrink back in the early 19th century, a century before there was any significant human contribution of CO2 to the atmosphere. It's important to realize that the Little Ice Age was probably the coldest period since the end of the Great Ice Age. In fact, the data overwhelmingly supports that, and that the glaciers grew to their largest extent around the planet in 10,000 years. So when we're talking about glacier recession, it's important to understand what the baseline is. Our baseline in this case is the biggest the glaciers have been in 10,000 years. And what's interesting, and this is going on right now, as the glaciers have been receding, geologists and biologists and, and glaciologists and so forth have been studying the landscapes that are being revealed as the ice shrinks back. And you know what they're finding is the remains of forests that had been overrun by the Little Ice Age glaciers and peat bogs and things that would suggest that prior to the onset of the Little Ice Age, those valleys that were filled with ice from roughly 1400 to 1800 were actually forested because the ice came down and overran these forests and now it's receding back and revealing that there were forests there. So that tells you that, you know, at some point, probably going back to the medieval warm period, those areas that have been glaciated during the early part of the 20th century were actually free of ice.